Something that can be like simple is not always simple at our scale. When you want to change some button spacing or you want to change iconography, we are affecting millions of lines of code over 10 products. Instead of having to maintain multiple components for different individual modes, Figma variables allow us to have that applied completely automatically. Being able to literally just like right click mode equals dark or light and just switch between. It's so hard to build the tooling to do that. Now it's just literally a fraction of a second. You can switch between mobile to web without having to manually create different screens for different breakpoints. You save by not having to do things five times over. And it also makes the handover process so much easier. What we're actually referencing now using Figma variables, an engineer can then see how it's realized in code. You sort of have one source of truth from the design system of all the color tokens. It doesn't get lost in translation. This Figma variables feature was so highly anticipated, I actually took a break from my honeymoon to test it out. One of the core principles at Spotify is ubiquity. Wherever you want to use Spotify, we want to be able to be there. That, of course, causes us to have design decisions at scale. Customers pick up on the small differences between different platforms, and being able to deliver a consistent vision really helps this promote a unified customer experience. It introduces a lot of overhead for us to maintain all those complexities. Now we have the opportunity to really bridge the gap between all these platforms with the spacing tokens. There's a lot of potential to cut down all the libraries that we need to maintain. We pretty much closed out a bunch of tickets because it sold a lot of the issues. Figma seems to listen to the community in a way that makes it seem like they're actually using their software themselves. 